the value of tradition. Okay. One of the defining characteristics, I think, of a conservative is they find a lot of value in tradition. They find a lot of meaning in things already practiced and already proven. They like to go back to them. They like to conserve, conserve or preserve that which has been before. They don't necessarily see the need to create a new thing or change things drastically when the old traditions are still functional and in fact well proven to be successful. Now for a liberal anything new is better than what you've had before. That's why they always go for the latest trends, the latest fashions, the latest whatever, the newest things that hit the block is the thing that they love the most. Um, very transitory, very, very shallow rooted. Um, traditions have deep roots. It connects you to the, your ancestors, it connects you to your history, it connects you to so much richness. It makes you give you a sense of identity. Whereas when you don't have a traditional way of life, you don't think about tradition and you always go with whatever is new, you lack that kind of deep-rooted aspect of your life. It becomes more flighty, more erythral, eryth is, is less tangible. Traditions carry weight for a reason because they work. Now some traditions have gone to the wayside and that's fine. But typically, there's a value to traditions that are, is ignored or belittled in our modern day society. We want to think of everything as new, every behavior as new, we have to create new behaviors, new everything. Everything has to be re-examined, reinvented every generation. But remarkably, the vast majority of the reinventions are thrown away. And only those reinventions that are really compatible with a lot of old traditions are the ones that tend to have longevity. Look at music, you know, it's, every generation comes out with a new type of music and the new music is always trying to break molds, change things and etc. But the ones that keep with traditional themes and traditional values tend to be the ones that last. Even if the tune is different, the message stays. Family, love, friends, country, those things carry weight, carry time, and of course God, carry weight and time. You know, those are traditions and they carry a weight because of their age. A lot of times you run into people who want to create totally new things. I know this because I went through that myself when I was a kid. I wanted to reinvent social relationships. I wanted to be able to redefine what it means to be in a relationship and I uh, explored very liberal concepts of relationships and I found out that they didn't work. They just don't work. They lack the depth. They lack the meaning. And When I started actually embracing my conservative tendencies, my traditional tendencies, I found that there was a lot more depth to them, a lot more richness. You could go into them in finatum. They're just so, you know, the rest of, I mean, it was like the difference between skim milk and whole milk, you know, whole milk is richer, you know, it's, it's, it just is, you know, but anyways, that's the value of tradition, it, it's something that binds us and keeps us together, connects us to our ancestors and to our parents and to our children, um, it brings unity and a sense of place, anyways, there you have it, thank you very much, have a good day, and God bless.